All right, so we got some news regarding Marvel's lone 2024 blockbuster, Deadpool and Wolverine from the director himself, Sean Levy. And speaking to Screen Rant, he kind of elaborated more on the fact that this is not just Deadpool 3. This is actually something entirely different. So I think a lot of us kind of expected this with the name change. It's at a time where Marvel has significantly slowed down the output. This kind of makes me hopeful because slowing down allows them to put a lot more attention on one movie and ensuring that the quality is great. Let's dive into what Sean Levy had to say to Screen Rant. As far as crafting the Deadpool and Wolverine story, I just felt privileged every day because you're talking about two massive movie stars in their most iconic roles. It also gave me an opportunity. It's the third Deadpool movie, but it's not Deadpool 3. It's a different thing that's very much Deadpool and Wolverine. It's not trying to copycat anything from the first two movies. They were awesome, but this is a two-hander character adventure. So what this quote suggests to me is that this is a much bigger movie than just a sequel to Deadpool 2. And also the fact that Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds are both going to equally shoulder the lead of this movie. He then went on to talk about the fact of the importance of audience joy, that wow moment in the theaters. Here's what Sean Levy had to say about that. Well, I'll tell you that the guiding thought in crafting the movie was audience joy. That was always the North Star. Yeah, it's going to be gnarly. Yeah, it's going to be funny. That's a given, but we wanted to build a great time at the theater for audiences, and that's our goal. That's great because that should be the guiding light. People have an expectation of what they want to see from these characters as well as the cameos, the kind of wow moments that we got in like No Way Home when we saw Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield on the screen. That movie didn't just feature Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield. You then got a lot of substance after that that added to the value that those two characters brought to the movie. I think that's probably going to be an element that is pretty big in this movie. Even some of the photos that leaked from the shooting already pretty much gave away some pretty iconic characters. I'm not going to spoil it here, but if you want to go look it up yourself, you could easily find it. It seems like there are some heavy hitters from the past that are going to be in this movie, especially from the Fox universe. And I think they understand that there is going to be some moments in that theater where you're going to see a character and the nostalgia is going to hit you really hard. But what's important is that they add value to these characters. And that involves good pacing. It happens to be what Sean Levy commented about when he spoke to Collider, which was the extremely promising test screenings. By the way, if you're enjoying this video so far, please leave a like and also consider subscribing so you can stay up to date about all content that I upload on my channel. So in speaking to Collider, Levy talked about the early test screenings and here's what he had to say. We have had some early test screenings that were extremely, extremely promising. I wouldn't say that there were any big surprises, but you feel where the pace wants to tighten. You feel where you can afford to slow down and have a deeper, more durable character moment. But this quote sounds to me like someone who truly understands the balancing act of pacing a superhero movie. It needs to have moments where the emotional impact can set in. And also in this case, definitely has to have the top notch humor that we're used to with Deadpool as well as great action which is kind of what a good Deadpool movie provides. It really looks like they're going super ambitious with this movie. It does make me a little bit nervous. I don't want this movie to crumble under the weight of those expectations and in the past what we've loved about Deadpool movies is that they do prioritize audience choice. These quotes make me extremely hopeful. I do like that the early test screenings were extremely promising. This is a movie that is going going to represent Marvel in the year 2024. I'm very happy with what he has to say. This will probably have to do it until we see the trailer, which is what I'm extremely excited for. I really can't wait to actually see more of what this movie is going to be. But for now, I'm very hopeful judging by Sean Levy's comments. This seems like a guy that really understands the task. We won't know until we actually see the movie if he will deliver. I mean, we all hope he will, but we'll have to wait and see. But for now, we'll stay tuned for the trailer. Anyways, that's all I've got for you today. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought of Sean Levy's comments regarding Deadpool and Wolverine. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Maybe consider subscribing if you enjoy the content on my channel. And as always, my name's Eric Rosas and I hope you all have a fantastic day.